Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with a newly received Walesco D24. It's not new, but it's in very good shape. And uh, I got this from an online auction site. And a good friend of mine, Randy, bowed out so that I could actually get this to complete my collection. So very appreciate, very much appreciate that, Randy. Thank you. And uh, I did electrify this, so it's a dual fuel. It has a uh, as the tray here hasn't been used very much, but this tray is pretty clean, and it's a pretty strong compression engine. So I think it didn't see much use. It's a little bit older one. And that it doesn't have a smoking chimney the exhaust comes right here in this collection tray and i think i prefer that because you don't have all that uh, exhaust plumbing going up to the chimney and up about four inches robbing power away from the engine so these are quite a bit more powerful than i think the smoking chimney models are they just exhaust very nicely like i said i did put an immersion rod heater in it and this one pushes just under 600 watts and uh got a nice heavy 16.3 grounded cord on it. We've got a nice brass tag there. It's just 500 watts, but it's a little bit better than that. Almost six. And, uh, it's just in beautiful condition. Lightly used, I would say. And it completes my collection of the bigs. Uh, the bigger gens, or well, let's go. Oops, I almost made a mistake. Got about a half a bar. Um, like I said, it pushes almost 600 watts, and I am using 100 watts about right now. It's hard to get that. Yep. So it's only one fifth, one sixth of its capability. And it will run. Very nice. equally well in both directions. I did a little fine tuning to it. See this is a this is a low hours engine here. I'm quite sure of it. having taken it all apart, having the boiler out in my hands, it didn't have much use. Seems to pick up almost anywhere you stop it at. Sometimes it'll even change direction. I always make a liar out of it. Anyway, I appreciate you looking. Let's uh, look at some of the other engines real quick while I got them here. This is a D24. Then we step up to a D28. It is noticeably bigger. This is an electric version, factory electric. And this is a D32, which is again quite a bit bigger than the 28. So I got the three biggest ones I wanted to have. And again, my thanks to Randy for letting me go after this one and telling me about it. Shows you the capacity of the boiler. If I had to do that running slow with a lot of other engines, that engine would have stopped when I blew the whistle and took the pressure off of it. But a lot of capacity in this boiler. All right, that's enough, folks. Thanks for looking. As always, I appreciate it. Bye now.